everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my artsy endeavors. Have fun. Hey everybody, Cindy Utter here with my artsy endeavors. How are we doing? Um, I'm doing pretty good right now. I'm cold. Very, very cold. Anyways, um, I wanted to show you, I know Shannon Green started this phase and I thought, no, I'm not going to get hooked up in that. Well, then of course I had my jelly played out and we had all my stencils and I was playing around and I was like, okay. So here's what I ended up with. Some of these are just kind of, eh, this one's kind of, eh, it'll be great for background. Some of them I really, really like. Let me do this because I know it's, it's hard to see. Let's find a plain back one. There we go. There we go. Now you can actually see what it looks like, right? Bring you in a little bit. All right, so here's this one. Some of these, like I said, some of them turned out really well. Let me leave this down here. Move these out of the way. Boy, I'm ready for this video, can you tell? Here's another one. I love this one. I think this one turned out really cool. There's that one. Uh, let's see what we've got here them out some of these I did not do Shannon's um, you know outlining on some of them I like just the way they are and so I just decided to leave them like that actually there's a few in here oh this is one of my favorites look at that isn't that cool love it oh another favorite and what these are um, you look at them they look really big they're old scrapbook paper it's I've got a complete shelf of nothing but scrapbook paper over there and some of them are just plain ugly <laughs> I think they're just plain ugly and I'm never going to use them in anything but jelly printing so that's what I bring them out now this one I did not um, go around with the white but you'll see one here that I did here's another one just plain jelly print nothing special jelly print nothing crazy um, jelly print. This is off. I bought an old recipe book that had these like cards. It's like a cardstock. So I just use this for jelly plating. See? I'm sorry, but I will not use that paper. <laughs> the other side, I guess, was worse. This is just a jelly print that I did. I did a jelly print. Um, I did some white on this side and some black on this side. I like the black much better than the white, but hey, you know, I'll tear it up and use it for something see what else we've got here oh this is just circles this is a foamy um, by uh, da, 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 Julie Faye Fan Balzar I believe is her name um, but this is foamy I love foamy stamps I'm addicted I, I really love them this is just a jelly print that I decided to throw some more colors on on the other side and do a whole bunch of black roses so I don't know what I'll do with that one again yeek I'm not a fan of that. So I took it. I started doing this right here. I started doing the outline. And because the background is more white, I don't think it really shows. I mean, it shows up a little bit, but eh, whatever. It's all good. Next, this one again, this is another foamy stamp that I used. I love those foamy stamps. I just, they are so cool. This one is fantastic. Look at this. Isn't that cool? Again, another foamy stamp. Now, this one actually was a 12 by 12 piece, okay? But I went to a stamp show the other day, and I found these. You can't really see them. What they are, isn't that gorgeous? Love that. Can't wait to use this for something. That's just beautiful. Um, let me see if I can find some. Can you see them now? Yeah, you can. Um, it's three long rulers. Um, they're about 14 inches each. And they have all these different sides on them. So this one here is what I used to rip this edge on the paper. Can you see it? It's kind of hard to tell. There you go. See how that edge is? And I just, I saw these, you know, everybody has, we have those scissors. Um, but I thought, oh my gosh, good. First of all, I don't have to mess with those scissors. Second of all, I can just lift this up and pull. And actually... No, I don't want to do that one. Let's find another one. Oh, here's another one I did. All right, let me show you how easy these work. Let's take this one. All you do is you lay it down, 
This came into a this this is becoming a lesson. <laughs> Lay it down. Pull it up. Simple as that. And I thought I had the piece of what they were right here. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Um, no, I don't. But they they're called um easy tears. And they are, oh, they're called Perfect Tears, I'm sorry. So check out Perfect Tears. And the three of them, I think it was like 20 bucks for the three of them together. So those are really cool. I like those. I can't wait to use them more. So anyways, here's this one, the jelly print. This one. This is on just, this is a um, pad of paper from the dollar store or uh, Tuesday morning. Just, you know, simple scrap paper is what I like to call it. And there's my hair. Sorry about that. All right. This is a page out of a dilution journal. And then I just played around with the backside. Okay. This one, this one, isn't that cool? Love it. I love how the colors come out in the spots and the, the pink and the yellow and the blue. This is one of my favorites. I really like that one. Okay, here's another one. This is a back side of an ugly scrapbook paper. That's the front side. And I love this one too. I think this one turned out really, really well. And let me tell you, I did a lot of these when I had insomnia nights again. Um, so, you know, I just sat here and I put on a show on Netflix and I, it was very meditative to sit and do all the um, drawing on that. Here's another one. This is... Oh, a piece of a prescription paper. You know how they give you all those papers and it tells you everything about the medicine? That's what that is. This is just plain, I think, an old magazine page that I did some jelly printing on and some painted papers. <gasps> this is another one of my favorites. Look at this. Isn't this cool? It's got the, um, I have a foamy from Julie. Um, that has it's all handwriting so I have that in the background and then I did white with the um, a stencil with the squares I think that's a Diane Reevely, um stencil but isn't that cool I love that that's another one of my favorites let's see what's this one oh another favorite <laughs> again this is a stencil um, this is a yeah, this is a piece of scrapbook paper. It's not the cardstock. The ones that are double-sided, most of those are the cardstocks, but this is just a regular piece of paper that I thought was ugly. And look, I turned it into something beautiful. Isn't that awesome? Okay, only a couple more. Um, this one has some metallic paint on it. Again, this is a piece of scrapbook paper that I didn't like. This one turned out really cool. This is a foamy stamp, which I, again, I love the foamy stamp. So that's cool. And this one, again, piece of scrapbook paper. Didn't like it, put a whole bunch of paint on it. And that's kind of cool. Now this has like a, the black is like a paisley in the background. You can't really, I don't know, can you tell that? See the black, see the paisley right there? It's really cool. But this was fun. And then last but not least, I love this one too. This is another one of my favorites. All right, so, you know, I know if you're sitting there looking at Shans going, oh my gosh, I can't do that. Yes, you can. Put some paint down on a piece of paper. Um, use your stencils. Let it dry completely because if you try to uh, put, you know, pen it on, on top of the wet paint, you're going to ruin your pens. So let it dry completely. I'm just getting all the scrapbook paper together. So that goes in one place and then the other one goes in the other. So, um... You know, don't don't think you can't do it. Have fun with it. You know, that's that's what all this mixed media is about. Is just having fun. Enjoy what you do. Enjoy the process. Play, play, play. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll chat with you soon. Have a great day. Bye. Hey, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, hit like, share, comment. I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions. Um, and as always, be kind, have fun, that's what life's all about, and happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye!